<laughs> Take it away. Indeed. <laughs> Got you. Appreciate it. Episode 14. I was just informed that this is not a quinceanera episode, so I apologize. Uh, <laughs> next time. We, next time, next though. Time. Next time. I got to get my Spanglish right. Spanglish. Uh, we are here again in our new studio here in Playa Vista, California. Uh, we got a few changes. We got a nice big logo that has been placed on the wall behind us. I don't know how much of that you can actually see. Uh, it's but we're, fire. It's fire. We're doing big things. And if you can't see this and you're only listening to us on Dash Radio, make sure that you check out the visual portion of this episode, which can be found at sneakerinc.com. I am your host, as per use. I go by the name of Jesus Christ. To my right, my boy, camouflage short wearing, gold chain wearing, <laughs> <laughs> wheeling and dealing. What up, y'all? We got Dano. <laughs> Woo. On the far end. Also comes with the most correct gold chains of all. He is the type of guy that wears sunglasses indoors at night. You did. With <laughs> the bread fours, with the back tab that has been replaced with the Nike Air. You know who it is, director extraordinaire, Mr. John Colombo. Let's give it up. You see, he had to bring his hands up because he wanted to show off the rings and the watch nah, that he's rocking yeah. and all that. Let's My man is, up. he is very flashy with it. He has, he has no reservations with that. It's all good, man. You know, style's a thing. I mean, you, I've, I've, <laughs> I've, trust me, I know. I'm wearing a black t-shirt and some goddamn basketball shorts. There you shorts. go. <laughs> and our guest for this evening is probably the classiest guest that we have ever had in I this agree. hot seat. Classy? Mm -hmm. my, yeah. man, my man is drinking the white wine. He was like, I, I'm not even fucking with y'all. Because they don't have Jameson. <laughs> I don't drink that. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, you're <laughs> supposed to say Hennessy. <laughs> Jameson. <laughs> Jameson. He is formerly known as Bubonic of Philly's Most Wanted. Mm. He is now a visual artist and co-owner of Tango Hotel with Rich Hill figure and my favorite skateboarder of all time, Stevie Williams. Awesome. Please give a warm welcome to Mr. Al Bashir Holly. My guy. How are you? <laughs> Thank you yeah. More how are you, fire. How are you doing this evening, I'm sir? I'm good, dog. I'm doing good. good? Yeah, hell yeah. Hell yeah. yeah. And we are so, so pleased to have you here. If you could uh, tell the listeners and the viewers a little bit about yourself and give a little bit of background, please. Well, I'm, um, a Southwest Philly rapper, okay, through and through, but also um, an artist who um, did his thing early with the music, kind of never saw a way to do art for a profession. Mm -hmm. So I went to the music side of my artistic ability more and made some things happen in the world with uh, Philly's Most Wanted, the Neptunes, Pharrell Williams, yeah. Chad, um, the clips, all all my guys, and then um, later on to do more music with my dog and business partner and brother, uh, Rich, mm -hmm. Rich Hill, and um, Stevie Williams, another Philly legend. God. From we we from Philly. Yep. That's my dog. So that's that 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 was that was just the connection with that, and that's basically what we where we at right now. What right. we're doing right now. Most I'm very excited about Tango. Hotel. I know this guy yeah, is. Yeah, yeah. I know this guy for a long, long time. Word. He, yeah, he y'all look like y'all would hang out no, together. No. <laughs> <laughs> he way more. He live in Rachi more style wise. You know, he, he uh -huh. more flamboyant. Yeah, yeah. You got yeah. that vibe. You got but, that but vibe too. But he owned though. it and he be killing. I ain't flamboyant. I mean, I got, you got, got on all blue. You <laughs> got a little flair to you, though. You got the knickknacks. You got yeah. the glasses. <laughs> like, Nick you got those yeah. expensive yeah. knickknacks yeah. he's wearing right yeah. now. Yeah. Don't no. get it twisted. <laughs> That's why I don't look at him like knickknacks. You know, like it's art. <laughs> it's more Straight art. Up. More art. Most yeah. definitely. Yeah. So, yeah. how did the idea for Tango Hotel come about? Well, you know, Rich. Um, he he really he did well with like cementing his name and making his own lane musically. Right. And he used I, to go by Ricky Hill, right? Yeah, he when still he, do he right used, now. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. I knew, but, yeah, yeah. But, but it was Rich Hill at first, then yeah. Ricky Hill. Okay. okay. But what I'm saying is he, he, he cemented himself really well. He can attest to that because he shot some of the early visuals for him and all that. The first two. Yeah, and, um, you know, it, that was important for him. 
And I understand that too, because having a dad like that, right. I don't understand that. Not not that my dad is is an American fashion yeah. designer. Like my, my, <laughs> my fashion icon. No, no, but what I mean is being in the shadow. Right. You get you feel me? Yeah, most yeah. definitely. And like being in the shadow or something is like a, a rough place to be. So like we connected on that and he always wanted to make sure he could do something outside of that before he got into that because that was a layup for him because he's fashionable and he got it in his blood. He could do it any time. Right. So we just, you know, did what we was doing. And then it was just that time where it's just like, man, though, everybody doing this and that. We can't right. let these, all these, can you cuss on here? You can do whatever the yeah, fuck yeah, you yeah. want, player. Can't let all them motherfuckers just take all the food. Right. You know, like, you like, like, say, like we got, like, yeah. You can't let like, all these niggas take like, that food. No, 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 we got, <laughs> no, I was just saying, we got, we got to, we got to get it. We got to we got to yeah. get it with that too cuz everybody eating so yep. on that so we might right. as well eat on that too who else could do it better Most definitely And then we just start putting it together and voila That's dope man It's right there right now Hell about yeah. the and we pushing we got Dave East rapping I saw so, yeah I and, saw um, a photo most recently him lifting the shirt with Shout the, out to Dave the East Hotel. too cuz he he it's just like it's always cool to be right in the culture in the in the right way not yeah. force way He's like organic. like like when you know what's what and who's who yep and then you align yourself up like that and then it flows organically and it is organic and it's just cool for that to be like the reality because a lot of times it's not like that right because i've been in it on up on different ways and i for know sure. how it go yep. it's a lot of forced behavior you know of course. i mean so, that comes with anything yeah no but we lucky of, that like, we ain't gotta get into it yeah, yeah. <clears throat> no so how did you transi transition from, you know, music being your art form to now being like a visual artist where you're painting on shoes as your yeah. canvas or, you know, bodies, whatever it is. How Asses. did that transition? I mean, I wasn't going to say <laughs> it, but. <laughs> no, I transformed, I transformed, transformed? from art <laughs> to a rapper. Okay. Work. Because I did art my whole life. Uh -huh. That's what that, my dad could draw. He can draw, you know, really good. Right. And I always looked up to him, and I, he never taught me, but I just watched him, and I was like, well, I'm going to do that. Kind of like how my daughter, I never taught her, but now she a beast, you know? Still. Like, she, she, she has it. It's in the DNA. <clears throat> yeah, but um, I never thought, honestly, man, when I was young, I thought even with being in art charters and public school mm -hmm. and all that kind of stuff, I still thought, like, I thought Picasso was from, like, the 14th century at one point. You, just don't you know, <laughs> not, yeah, not, yeah. Even, not even realizing he died in 73. Right. And yeah. like I was born in 79, you know. Mm -hmm. So like just that kind of thing kind of threw me off with like my interest was there. But I, I, I just thought it was so far fetched as a profession. Right. Like you had to be dead to succeed. No, mm -hmm. seriously. Nah, as an artist, 100 percent. That was yeah. the, what I thought. And that's what people led me to believe. Right. So I ain't never take it as serious as I could have and should have then. Mm -hmm. But now I am. So that's fine. But. I was more like, fuck that, I'm a rapper. You know what I mean? I'm like Big Daddy Kane. I saw Big Daddy Kane. It's definitely attainable and it's yeah. a real, I saw how you could monetize that. While you're alive. Not like, yeah, while you, you living. Right. While you living. <laughs> so I was like, man, I'm a rapper. Like eight years old, made my decision. And honestly, wholehearted, mm -hmm. never did anything else after that. You just perfected your yeah, craft. Yeah, that forward. was it. I never did nothing. No odd jobs, no nothing. Like that was wow. that. Like, you know what I mean? And that's a true story, like, right. and I was just like on some shit like that. Like, I'm gonna be a rapper, and then the rap shit popped off. We got a record deal before I left high school, so I was kind of like, damn. I wanted that to happen, but who, you never know if that's it's gonna happen. Chance. Yeah, it's like, really especially coming from you. Philly at the time, nobody had to deal, nobody. Mm -hmm. So it was just kind of like one of them things. And we was like, fuck, really got a deal. Then we got uh, aligned with Pharrell Williams and Chad, the Neptunes, yeah. and the rest was history when it came to the music. Yeah, wonder what those guys <clears throat> are up to now. Yeah, I know. Still <laughs> killing. I still wonder killing. if they're still out there. Yeah, you know, I know too much from them. You want to know what's really dope about, so about amazing. my music? Little, even though it was short-lived, mm -hmm. it was really impactful in a lot of ways. Like Jay-Z uh, trying to sign us before even our record deal that we no actually shit. signed. Yeah, and Beanie Siegel, that's my homie. I introduced him to Jay-Z. That's how he got signed. Wow. It was at our, our meeting with him. Right, right. We were all there rapping. Yeah, there's some heavy hitters that came out of Philly, too. Yeah, I'm but sure that's, that's all, time. no, that's all based on that. Mm. And I, 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 I dare that anybody, I dare anybody to challenge that. Hell yeah. Nobody had a record deal yet. Nobody. 
y'all put on Philly's most city, wanted. And it really just opened the floodgates for No, because we all was battling each other. Right. It was like a real collective. Like, we all know each other. That's what yeah. I'm saying. I, I, it was I, like, no, never no animosity. I want somebody, like, no. Like, right. we were in the same circles and houses yeah. battling. And, like, yeah. Like, Man. hell no. Major figures. Eve, Charlie Baltimore, Philly's Most Wanted, Nam. Um... Beans free. Beans freeway. Freeway came later. He was a little bit late. I was gonna yeah, say, yeah, he came later, yeah. but he was he. But that was like the core of it. You mm. understand what I'm saying? Right. And then and like Gil- Chris Gilly's and Eve, from, all of uh, them. But it was Gilly, Gilly. And, and, and Beans and us and and like that was that. Damn. For real, for real. So I, something <laughs> I want to know personally, just because like I mentioned, Stevie Williams, he's been like an icon for me yeah. growing up as a young black skateboarder. Yeah. How did that um, that relationship start? Cause you know him, he's always been on his like fashion and yeah. his rap shit, but he was also like a nigga in the streets that was out here skateboarding yeah. and it wasn't really like yeah. that tight, you know? Well, back in the day, we used to have to make decisions like in, in school, like middle school. Mm-hmm. And we was basically like, we can eat, <laughs> we can like go downtown and like try to get girls at the <laughs> mall. And be and like have to like walk back home because we don't have no fare to get back home. Or (laughs) we could go to the wishing well at the mall and try to get some change up out of there. (laughs) (laughs) Stealing people's wishes. Yeah, so we was basically like wishes. Yeah, we we was basically like the wish catchers. (laughs) Like so we was the take a wish foundation. (laughs) So we would go down there and do that. And, so, and most of the time, we never could get enough because it was, like, really noticeable to dip your hand in the wish and well. like, It's like, how y'all all going to get it off? Right. And it's like a lot of us. So, like, we used to go, so we used to go back up kind of like, damn, whatever. And it's like Love Park is right there yep. where the gallery is. Mm-hmm. So we'd come up. And you'll see all these white kids skating. You see one black ass dude, like <laughs> and little, like little, and killing yeah. it. And it's like, Baggy who the fuck? Like, yeah, I'm like, who is shit? that? Like, and I'm, I'm telling you, the god down is true. I mean, this from the like when we was little. Like, yeah. I didn't even know him yet, and this was just like something everybody knew about it because he was like the only one really, for the most part, right? Killing it for sure, you know. Yeah. Down there and uh, looking like, who the hell is like? How do you even know how to skate like that? Like, you know what I mean? Like, cause everybody be looking at him. Right. Like, yeah, like, yeah. Like, he stick out like fuck? a sword. Yeah, he was sticking out for yeah. all kind of reasons, but mainly cause how dope he was as a skater, and. <clears throat> We figured out that right in Love Park, it was like turnstiles to go to the subway, mm-hmm. but it was only coming out. But oh, what God. they did, and we found this out later on when we got cool, is we used to slide through slide them because we were small thing. enough to get in between the turnstile because somebody bent them so you could get through a little bit, but they would still go around. Uh-huh. So like. We went down and used to always never had to pay no more to get back. So we knew that. So we was like, fuck so that. We can eat. Yeah, and we can eat <laughs> and go down there, like yeah. get a slice of pizza, see some girls. <laughs> and then and then we found we had a conversation when we met in LA, like, and, and was talking and talking, and it was just like, I brung that up and he's like, yo, you know we did that. And he's like, we did it with a car jack thing. Oh, and I was shit. like, yo, yeah. that's so crazy. Cause we used to always yeah, wonder like, who did that? Cause like they hooked us up. Like, it's like, we good, we don't need no money. Like yeah. we really used to wonder and it was him. <laughs> like, cause they didn't have no money neither. Right. And they used to go down there and escape. Yeah. So yeah, that's, that's a true crazy. story. Yeah, yeah Steve's dope. a man. Yeah. My first, yeah, the yeah. first time, first and only time I'd say I think I ever was on a skateboard was with Stevie Williams and pause. He was on a skateboard with him. <laughs> I mean, we were on skateboards oh, together. Oh, yeah, yeah. I bet you that like I was on a nah, skateboard. Yeah, we, but he was in the front and I was in the back. <laughs> Nuts to butts. <laughs> no, I'm just I mean, Stevie. I was, that he was my favorite in the Tony Hawk game. I was like, no, that was my shit. Man, he was the black only. People look, no, nigga, that was Kareem Campbell. All black people. Stevie was on the fucking game. He was on the game until later, though. What do you yeah, mean? No, but, but I'm not I, talking about Tony Hawk. Yeah, yeah, I'm not yeah, talking about Kareem. Like hey, yeah. I'm just trying to protect what I love. Okay? <laughs> no, but you know they <laughs> had this one chocolate slot. <laughs> so, like, <laughs> so like, some years it was, it was. Uh, yeah, well, he was an yeah. affirmative action uh, character. Yeah. <laughs> and then I went to uh, Atlanta when Stevie had the playground. Yep. Yeah. Underneath, under the mall, right? Under the mall. Under yeah. flips. Yep. Now so that, I was a, okay, so that timeline makes sense then. That's yeah, something yeah. That next. That's something crazy. Yeah, that so was I, crazy. I went to, I went there. We were there late night, like after the club, it was like four or five in the morning, bent, and we were there, and like I had to get basically enough 
you know, liquid courage to hit the ramps <laughs> and be skating around. It was me, Stevie, and the Ma- ramp? Yeah, me, Stevie, and, and Marcus in? McBride. McBride, we were, yeah. that's what I'm saying. So we were just in there, like, tearing it up, and they kind of, like, got me enough courage to, like, get up on, like, the, the highest ramp you that jump, was there you to drop, drop in. You dropped in? And, um, no, I pushed out at the I last. Okay, there we but, go. But, <laughs> I love but that. I was, like, I was about to say, I'm trying yeah. to think in no, my mind. I'm like, no, wait, what? No, no, no. I got up there, though. I was, like, standing up. Like, <laughs> Yo, that was, if you <laughs> clear <laughs> now, I get there. If you clear <laughs> that, like, you can skate. No. <laughs> at that point, if you make that, if you, you can didn't skate. fall, you can skate. You'll skate. <laughs> That's, That's your initiation. Right yeah. That's it. If he can drop in on that, <laughs> he can skate. Is what I'm saying. Like, it's a wrap. Get an endorsement. <laughs> no, God, dude, I swear to God, I would pay to see that. Yo, my damn leg fell oh, asleep. I got a hundred on me right now. Right now. <laughs> no, <laughs> did y'all see that? Y'all yeah, saw that YouTube video with a dude. The big like, black dude yeah, trying to roll yeah, down his yeah. cock oh my shit God. back. <laughs> Which one? Yo, oh, I'm glad like, you like, saw it. Pants? He I don't know if he had he had on, but I know, I know he took, it, it was bad. Yeah, he had yeah. some J's on, he tried to him. roll down the ramp and fell it back. Was just and, all like, his bad. whole shit spit this yeah, way. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. It wasn't good. <laughs> it was not. So, all right, a funny story about the ramps. Pharrell crib in, in, in Virginia, he had a white crib with, at night, all these fluorescent lights would beam on it. And it was right by the bridge, so you could just, you could just see it, right? So, in this kitchen, it was like a big-ass window by the sink, and like, through it was like a, a ramp, like a room with a ramp. So I walk in there, I don't know, I think I might even took an Adderall, I don't know what the fuck I was on. <laughs> but like, I walked, I, in it, like, I walked in there and it's like, skate at your own risk, skate, skate, skate at your own Like, oh, that's the first thing I can remember about that room. It was like, skate, all, it, was said, it said it a lot, right? And I was like, <laughs> no, for real. And it was like helmets on the floor. And like boards and shit. I'm like, all right, so I ain't put the helmet on. And I'm playing oh, around. Shit. No, I'm playing around, dog. I'm playing around. I jump on the board. And I like kind of skate up it a little bit. Not even from the top. Like I was in the middle and just like skated up tell a little bit. And, and we're like, no, dog. <laughs> when I tell you, I fell so fast that I hit my forehead, nose, and chin at the same time. Like, on the ground, it was it was a clean hit, and like and like my shit was throbbing, my whole face. I thought I was mangled, and then my man came in the room. He's like, "Yo, you good?" I said, like, "No, I didn't even fall. Like I fell, but I ain't hit nothing." I was like, I was lying like shit. My face like this pounding. I'm like just trying to get to a room by myself so I could like look at myself, but I was lying right off the rip. I'm like, "No, I ain't even hit nothing." He's like, "You sure?" I was like, "No." I I was, like, I was like, I just fell. I swear. <laughs> no, I think I'm cool. I'm yeah, cool. I, was, I, no, I was, was so hot. I was so mad. No, 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 I, there or what? Yeah. I got fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> that shit fucked me up for real. See, you should have paid uh, attention to the side. I did. I you just were told hyper that's focused a, on them side. You could have the helmet focused. or something. Dog. Like, it was you, like a you movie. You hit your whole shit. It was like a movie. <laughs> At the same time, that shit was like flat. <laughs> <laughs> like, it was like, I hit him. At the same time. (laughs) And that's hard to do. They hit all three at the same time. That's a a flat fall. No, for real. Oh, no. Oh, shit. Man. That's a true story, too, dog. <laughs> but he know he got oh, that. He, he know he had that crib, and he know that room was in there, and that's what. And it was witnesses <laughs> <laughs> that I finagled into believing that I did hit my face. It happened like, so yeah. fast. They, they, so, they didn't see it. You just heard it, like you know what I mean. But and like I knew I could say it. I, 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 I didn't. I thought I was mangled. I did. I thought my whole grill was chewed up. I was like, I gotta get to a mirror. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> that shit was hurting so bad. <laughs> For real. My stomach hurt. <laughs> Yo, but I'm serious. Yo, that's probably the best story that we've ever that's had good, told yeah, on this trip. Uh, kickback. I'm telling you, though. For oh, real. Oh, my God. Ooh, now that we done broke the ice, uh, let's talk about some sneakers. <laughs> let's talk about some goddamn sneakers. Yeah. Tell us a little bit about what you brought for us tonight. <laughs> <laughs> As you work yourself out of this. I can't, I can't, I can't stop thinking about it. Like, Talk about got this and give Jesus a moment. <laughs> I can't no, keep so it together. I started painting uh, Birkin bags. <laughs> this motherfucker. 
No, nah, that story <laughs> is <laughs> funny, dog. <laughs> nah, that shit is funny. <laughs> nah, just because I know I've seen people who don't know dog, what the fuck they're doing on a skateboard trying try and hit. Because if you don't position your body right when you're going up that ramp, it's game over. All right, like, so here go another one then. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> no, one more. And this Stevie in the involved in this, so he can co-sign this one. He gave me a board. We were shooting a video out here for uh, our second album. It was for Ring No Alarm. And we was in the lobby of the, it's the Andes now, but it used to be the Hyatt. Yeah. We in the lobby. He gave me a board. You know, that shit like marble floors down there. So I'm on the board. <laughs> I think I had to be off of no ecstasy. Luck with this, I was off of ecstasy. <laughs> I had to be off of ecstasy. No, like, I'm on the board with a glass of wine, two story like this. And I'm like this, like going like this on the board, talking though, like talking right, to them. Yeah, yeah. So I'm like, I, I thought I had, I you felt good about it. it. Yeah. Dog, at one point they said like my whole body was like, <laughs> like I was laying out like, like I was laying out like, I broke the glass, cut my hand, like it was bad, dog. It was, don't give him a skateboard. And Stevie no. was like, Stevie yeah. was like, Stevie was like, yo, you gotta be cool on them Jones, dog. You can't do this. <laughs> Like you can't just be doing anything. Like, that shit was funny. Got, we, we've learned that you need to stay away from controlled oh, substances no, and skateboards. Yeah, because I was about to say, because I can actually skate, though. Oh, well. That's the, <laughs> no, that's the funny part, TBD. Though. Yeah, 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 this is still to be determined. That's a fact, This is man. ABH TBD. <laughs> well, he told me to put my phone on airplane, else I would have called him. It's a fact, I can skate. We can yeah. FaceTime Stevie. I mean, we, we can call Stevie <laughs> right now. We really, I'm trying to get ask to the me. point. Ask me. Ask me. You like, no, we can't. <laughs> <laughs> I can skate. I think I'll just take your word for I'm it. I'm FaceTiming and why you why y'all ask me another question. You yeah, hit up Stevie. We skate. need to get him on here anyway. Tell him you gotta bring his ass down here. Yeah. <laughs> oh shit. Did you ever story. um did Philly's most wanted ever do any of uh the music for like Stevie's video parts or anything as he was coming up, or was that never something? No, nah, well Philly's most wanted was like two thousand one. He already Stevie ran away and moved to the West Coast. He was on, yeah, 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 he, he, yeah, he left a while ago. Yeah, because he like ran away at seventeen. Yeah, he was young. Like yeah. No, he's younger than that. Oh, okay, word. But why are you looking for Steve? I'll tell I'll tell the story that uh I was telling you earlier. So me and Steve we, we would travel here and there, like when I was doing shit with, with skate with DGK. Mm. And I forget where we were. I think it was either Houston or Vegas or something. But we used to always talk about, like, you know, the fashion shit. And because it was, you know, we were doing shit in streetwear and skate. But Steve always wanted to, you know, he always had style and I had style. Yeah. We always talk about doing, like, you know, bigger designer shit. And um, we, we, I wore this all over MCM cognac jacket, like the all over print. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think we were in Vegas, yeah, because. Uh, like Ross was there, me, French, everybody I seen that I ran into, Meek was like, oh shit, this shit is fire, this, that, boom, 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 and then Ross is the same shit, and French was like, where did you get this jacket? The whole shit, like I had everybody going off with this jacket all night long, and then we get, we leaving, and I'm like feeling like the man, like I'm, I'm up on stage with like Ross, French, and me, I'm wearing the jacket and performing, it was like the shit, I felt like the man, I was walking up, <laughs> and Steve don't like you to feel like the man either, or at least me. We coming, up the we coming up the escalator, like, leaving. Damn, he grinding him up. Like, <laughs> we don't want like, you to feel like no, the man. Like Steve, Steve saw me feeling good, and he was like, I'm going to take him down a peg right now. Uh -oh. We were going up the escalator, and I was like, hey, you know, the jacket really was a hit tonight. He was like, look like my duffel bag. And just like, <laughs> oh, yeah. Because no he had the MCM either. duffel bag, and it was uh -huh. the same thing. And he was like, you know, he's like, I'm gonna humble you real quick, my like, G. Yeah, yeah, he, was like, he was like, I ain't got that jacket on. Yeah, he was like, I got rid of that jacket. No, <laughs> no, you, right, no, that you wore it. That was, I saw yeah, that joint. That you said, yeah, that, saw, that was yeah, like a two times a year. He still be rocking it. Two times a year. You can't do that. Uh -oh. Put him on blast. No, it wasn't two times. Come on, a year. get out of here. <laughs> Damn, you see him jacket? Yeah, yeah the, but the oh, maybe because of pictures. Yeah, maybe I switched it out. Pictures make it last. Like you see, he be recycling them shits. <laughs> Here's a picture of me thinner from five years ago with this other jacket. Nah, I remember that jacket. All right, let's get into yeah. some topics, man. We'll see if let's Stevie hits back. Yeah, actually, because we was actually talking about it um, offline. We was talking about the off-white Air Drone Ones, the deconstructed joints. Yeah. What you feel about those? You trying to cop a pair? What's definitely. The, what's the deal? Yeah. I yeah, I definitely want those. I need those, actually. You got I mean, the plug? Because we trying to get plugged in, too. You feel me? <laughs> I'm trying to get plugged into that young socket pause. No, but I don't have <laughs> 
I don't have a plug on that. Yeah, actually, sort of, kind of. See, I ain't even, I, 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 I know what happened. Like, like, oh, like, no, 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 no. Uh, <laughs> nah, that's they me. They be trying it. to keep it on the hush, though. No, nah, what I'm saying right. is I ain't really, like, exhaust all oh, that. Yeah, all yeah, that. I ain't even yeah. talked to nobody yet, really. And I, it's, it's a gang of people I could talk to that I can know could point me in the right direction, at least. Mm-hmm. Humble brag. Okay. At least. <laughs> <laughs> now, nah, so what do you think about, like, what are your thoughts? I don't know if you know what happened, but they did um, this, what was it, off campus in New York. Yeah, I'm so, seeing it right now. Yeah, so basically the way Virgil wanted to do it, instead of having kids just line up with, you know, the lawn yeah. chairs and do it the way they do it, he wanted to make it more of an experience. Yeah. So they, they did the panel discussion. They had multiple discussions based on, like, different silhouettes that he was working on. Yeah. Um, but the one they did yesterday, they did one with Spike Lee, um, Chicago Doncey, Virgil. And I forget the lady's name, I apologize. Uh, but they had a panel of four people, and they were just talking about like a lot of the process that went into what they were, what they were doing, and he kind of broke down what his thought process was on all that. But with that being said, the way that they've been kind of like dropping these releases, or the way they have it planned to drop these releases, doesn't really leave too many options for people that aren't in these cities to actually yeah. cop the shoe unless you have a plug or you got to connect. Uh, what are your thoughts on the way that they're rolling this out? Like, do you think it's a good thing? Because I do... <laughs> His weed pen just fell out. I was on a roll, too. That sounds sound like a weed pen. Because I got one in my pocket. I, I'm like, if my shit fall out, he got the I thought mine fell out. out. Thought, <laughs> see, it was. <laughs> it was. Look. I thought mine fell out. Cheers. And I'm like, how did mine Cheers. fall out and make that much noise? Yeah, you see how I'm really going. Yeah, that's when you know you high already. <laughs> <laughs> but but um. But no, what are your thoughts on the process of them rolling it out? Because, was they still like, waiting in line though? I don't believe. I, I know there was some kids because he was talking about it on the panel that actually like snuck in through the back yeah. door and so was, was able still to get in line. there. But it was still a line of people. So it was. Had, but it was like but it was more like beach no one chair, knew where to right? go until like morning up. It was like, more of an invite only you type like thing. Go a week but earlier, I think you know, I think right. I think uh, when it comes to Virgil, mm-hmm. my personal opinion of him is like he's so. Uh, clean and sharp at simplicity, absolutely. like like the mm-hmm. absolute thing you would think was obvious, mm-hmm. never done before, <laughs> you know. Right. And he done it. Yep. And that's why I think Off White and uh, why uh, him in general, you know, I think mm-hmm. it's like he's something else. I agree. And and I don't even know if the people that used to say that about him knew that at the time. To right. be honest, yeah, but but so but that he was is. Part of the yeah. Panel discussion that he was doing. Yeah, he's something else with it, man. Like you got tip your hat or else so you just don't 100%. You know? 10 fucking and for somebody exactly for somebody yeah, to get 10 nice. silhouettes 10 within Nike silhouettes. at one time like not even throughout a career like no, at one collaboration moment, yeah. just boom we dropping all of these we got five no, on this way because they, they trust his energy yeah I agree I no I know that's what I, it is because that's how, how it works mm-hmm. you know like if you if you around somebody on, especially in the culture that we in right now and what we with people doing yeah a guy like him, a person like me, somebody like that, if you if they trust the energy of what you're saying and your energy in mm-hmm. general, then like the possibilities are limitless because they already got these ideas. But it's like, who do you let be the gay holder of them? You know? Mm-hmm. And, and I, it's like I if you and, disagree. Yeah, and if it's like if they see you show them something, then it's like, all right, it's a wrap. You know? <laughs> like <laughs> like uh, that sure. guy right there, <laughs> that's the guy. <laughs> I'm fucking with him, and that's what he is. Right. He's sharp as fuck and So clean. to kind of piggyback off of that, I mean to cut you off. No, it's all good. With the, the way that he's doing these rollouts and the storytelling, yeah. how does that really translate into, you know, your art personally? Like, what is your, you know, what your he's inspira- doing? No, 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 I'm, uh. I'm trying to piggyback this oh, yeah. off to you to ask yeah. you, like, what do you bring inspiration from when it comes to designing, you know, the artwork that you do, whether it be on sneakers as a canvas or other mediums? Well, like I said, I thought Picasso was born some weird time that he wasn't and all that kind of stuff. <laughs> so so as, a ch- so as a child, my true love was art, right? Mm-hmm. And some I, I don't know what it was or why. It was in my makeup and DNA, but like from a really young age, I always had this idea about myself like that. Um, I couldn't let go completely of all of my innocence. I just wasn't having it. Mm. And what I mean by that is like, when you start hitting certain ages and like, it's time to get a job, it's time to do this, it's time to do that, which is true. And that's not what I mean so much. It's just more like the whole idea of like, stop fucking around. 
stop taking things you gotta be lightly, serious. be serious. Mm -hmm. yeah. That mm -hmm. idea, I just was like, I can't do that because I know what that's going to be. That's going to make me wake up at 7, at work by 9, mm -hmm. off from around 5, you know what I mean? And like yeah, robot status, like moving like that. Wheel, and that's like, cool because this how this whole oil machine worked in mm -hmm. life, but that wasn't my that calling. That was for you, right. You know, and I knew that. Yeah. So I held on to a little bit of that. So my rap career, everything happened, boom. And when it started to slow up, I was like, fuck, what I'm going to do? I know I'm not a bum. You know what I mean? Like, seriously, like, what the fuck am I going to do? Like, and I was like, fuck. So therapeutically, I started getting back into my art, mm -hmm. buying myself time to think right. about what I'm it became really going to do. Like, yeah, yeah. Like, like, I'm really thinking, though. Right. But I'm working. And then all of a sudden... The thing I was doing to figure out what it was that I was supposed to be doing become wind up becoming the thing. What you supposed to be doing. You know? Yeah. And and it was just like I can't even say nothing else. I could say all this cool fake art process bullshit nah, and yeah, all this yeah. shit, but that mean, wasn't what it was. Right. It was like buying the time to figure out what my next move was and Repetition, repetition, repetition mm -hmm. became like, okay, well, well who's that? Learning. Yeah, who's that guy? What, what mm -hmm. he doing? And then once you got eyeballs on you, it's not my first rodeo. Right. So it's like, mm -hmm. I already know what to do. To yeah, I already know what to do. Yeah. But I know it all, this time it was all work based completely, like from the well, ground. Right. So, and well, it was, that's not fair to say about my music career because that was from the ground up for real, for real. Mm -hmm. But it was so like I Allen Iverson. Right. That it's hard to process it the same. You know? Yeah. Like yeah. I didn't have to practice like to be great at rapping. Like honestly. Like sure. like I was like trend setting off the rip. That was You know? Yeah. Like that was like a was real thing. Pain? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that Stevie coming no, that, 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 that was a real thing. Right. You know? But with the art thing, I never gave it that much attention to focus, so I never really knew. You, Selfie? I told you, Nick, what I tell you? Was that a selfie? Though? Somebody no. got <laughs> I was about to say, yo, that's crazy. No, but... but, but <laughs> no, but... <laughs> now we're going to do one, though. Mid-episode, no, no, no. my man yeah. got a selfie going yeah, on. Yeah, he might do that. I mean, he yeah, I wouldn't put, it, he wouldn't put it past him. <laughs> 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 yo, Not he amused. ain't going to catch me on that. <laughs> but, but, um... No, nah, that was really what happened. <laughs> you know, you, know, you know, lost your train of thought, see? <laughs> tell us about these shoes, right here. For the viewers, we got a beautiful So therapeutically, black. so therapeutically, <laughs> when I started painting again, the first thing that really started showing some, like, some, like, some... Uh, Traction? Yeah, traction, I guess. <laughs> That'll work. <laughs> Good help. <laughs> so some tra <laughs> traction. Um... I was painting Birkin bags. Oh, okay. First. So, like. Was you doing it for, like, family or, like, the home? No, for, the like, Rita or, like, or. Oh, shit. Yeah, it says, okay. Stevie. Yo, check this out. <laughs> <laughs> what was the question we had for Stevie? What was I saying? Because you really skate. All right, so. You, <laughs> yeah, yeah. You two things. Your ass. Two things. One. <laughs> You saw me bust my ass in that hotel when we shooting that video. Remember with the wine glass? <laughs> <laughs> huh? Back in the day. Yeah. Yeah. You remember that, right? I do. All right. <laughs> and the second thing, you saw me drop in in San Diego on that thing, on the skateboard, no? I don't remember that. Ah! <laughs> in San Diego, when we went to the park and I was going around that, it's not even a big one. You don't remember that? Wait, wait, the autograph signing and shit? Nah, dog, we was just there. <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't let hold on, hold on, hold on, so, so, huh? Oh, yeah, yeah, at the, the, the mini rent we had that Yeah, <laughs> yeah, exactly, damn, you got me looking bad. <laughs> <laughs> you got yourself looking bad, Flair. Well, he just said it's true, so. They all laughing at you, probably think you did something special. <laughs> nah, <laughs> got on the board? So you gotta take him down a bag. Yeah. Yeah. No, but this is what he do. I know. Right. Yeah. No, 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 but no, I, I definitely ain't piped up skating. I ain't no skater. <laughs> Stevie know what it is. But what I'm saying is I couldn't I can't skate though. Yeah, you can get on the board. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, I ain't about to get endorsed or nothing. I never said that. <laughs> Yo, what up, Stevie and Steezes? I'm with uh everybody, I guess. <laughs> 
What up? Monopoly. <laughs> What's good? I was just telling about when I was skating at the playground, I was probably a better skater than never than <laughs> Sonic. Never. At least he tried to drop in. We we, we here, man. We, this is where I'm trying to get you to come through, man. We have, we here at Sneaker Inc., man. We got we on. What up, Stevie? Say you got. Steve's is there. What up, nigga? Damn, this nigga eyes hella chinky. What's good, fam? Oh, shit. What's up, my nigga? <laughs> What's good? <laughs> What's good doing over there? Ah, shit. We shooting a podcast right now talking about this nigga thinking he can oh, skate. <laughs> yeah. He I, got, think, I think I can nah. paint and I think I can rap. He can paint he can rap, but I know this nigga can't That's skate. That's enough. We, we, <laughs> That's enough. That's more than enough. We had to, we had to bring... Hey, yeah, I, yeah, I ain't never thought I, I, yeah, I ain't never thought I could skate. Now he backpedaling. See, this, this, <laughs> no, I'm not. This wait, ain't the listen, same. Nah, listen. This, this wasn't the same tune this nigga was talking a minute ago. <laughs> this, this, this was, this was happening right here. They wanted, to, they want to live it up at my expense, but this was happening. I never said I could skate. I can get you on the board. I can, can hit a ramp. You listen, I'm about you to say you everything. Said you, we, can okay. we? Do okay. we have a way to bring it back? No, we can. Ra- let's let's <laughs> bring the tape it? back. <laughs> no, hold on, hold on. I love this. Let's bring the tape back because I think the first two stories I told about skating was me busting my ass. Oh, yeah, that's true. And, and, hold on, hold on, slow. That's clear. If we being honest, <laughs> <laughs> the first two stories was me breaking my neck. Damn near. That's how I led the conversation about skating. So a guy that's trying to con- convince people he's so great at skating don't lead with two stories like that. No, 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 what no, I, no, What no, I was no. saying no, was no, no, I can skate. But it was okay. But you can say you is. never said that you can skate. No, but not, y'all trying to say I can go pro. It Nigga, nobody like, never no, no. said that. We <laughs> was just trying to correct what you were saying. I went down on a half pipe. No, okay, I, you could have said I did, that. I did. I went in on the bowls. You could have said I that. I can skate. I can ollie. I can, uh, can uh, ollie. ollie. Yeah, I can ollie. I can't ollie. You can ain't you never seen me ollie see before. Frankie, get your board. <laughs> nah, that's keep like it one hundred. Oh, keep it one hundred, though. You ain't never seen me ollie before. Oh shit! Oh shit! You see me try to ollie Live or TV. ollie? I got pictures I can prove I can ollie. That's the whole point. <laughs> see, this nigga got receipts. See, he's a hater, though, on the low. You know, I know that about him. He, he lightweight hater a little bit. But, yeah, you are a fucking hater a little bit. <laughs> you are a hater a little bit. And we know that. And we know you, we know that. You don't need no pictures to shake ollie. You can ollie, my nigga. So why are you saying you kind of remember you might not know? Like, come on, dog. Like, I ain't, I ain't no skater. It's been so, it's been so long I'm, I'm so calling long. the legend. I'm trying to call the legend. To and he's trying to get yeah, the cosign. And he's trying to degrade me. He's trying to make me look crazy. I, I can't make you look crazy. Got you, dog. You, no, you got it, man. This is the last two times I've seen you. You've been up to this. I'm on to you. I'm on to this guy. I'm on to this nigga. I'm on there. I've been whooping his ass in pool, so he can take that out on me. Anything. Yeah, he already said you owe me a game in pool. Hey man, we out of here, man. <laughs> Cut him off. Cut him off. Get him out of here. Get him out of here. Yeah. But no, nah. sneakers. Sneakers. Yeah, sneakers. Sneakers. The Birkin bag inspired those. I bought those just because. They were shimmies and they look mm. like Birkin bags. Right. That so like I, I felt like yeah. when I started paying Birkin bags, that was like something that symbolized a moment that like changed my life. Yeah. Honestly, exactly. when I painted How reading them back. Like you painting, you you was rapping, you started painting again for therapeutic release, and then you painting bags for Rita Ora. Because like, Rita, who was a good friend of mine's, and my other good friend Rich started dating. Okay. Now it's and I put them together. together. I ain't trying to Were take too that? much credit, Man, but I'm you the one. taking credit for beans. Well, I'm you telling the truth. Yeah. <laughs> Am I lying? We, I don't know. Well, you've been doing <laughs> a lot of that so far. Yeah, ain't so. no lot. Well, I there? wouldn't want to look stupid <laughs> on camera. <laughs> no. I, would, I wouldn't want. I wouldn't want to be a part of that. So, <laughs> like, did, yeah. did I run into you? Were you in London uh, with them? They were, they were there. Sick was there. Of I course, ran into everybody. I ran course. into you too, yeah, right? Of course, in London. Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah, that was the shit. Yeah, yeah. I remember that. Yeah, that was a dope little moment. We get. We pulled up to. Some spot in London. It was like a little underground, like back garage entrance to like this dope ass little club. It was like, hot in there though. It was hot as fuck. It was like uh, total sweat like it box. is in here right now. But it, it was, was fun. no, no, no way this worse, shit was worse. like it was just way but it was like, yeah. Yeah. all the homies were in there. It was kind of like an LA was vibe, out there? Like, yeah. mustard and whiz and everybody. Everybody yeah, was, was in there. there. It was like, but it was cool because I went. I was with Keisha Cole and we got out the van together. Me and Keisha were kind of. I don't say we were like 
beefing a little bit, but it was like a weird vibe. I remember we got she got London. out. So she got out, and then there was like a big like, oh shit, yo! And Keisha thought it was for her and turned around with like a whole like little whip her hair move, and it was Bonnick, Rich, Rita, and Sycamore. All like Columbo, and it was yeah, just like it sucked the fucking wind out of her sails <laughs> so hard. And she, went, yo, we all, she was, I remember through. in the parking lot. Yeah, it was the like the lot. outside into the back entrance. Yeah, <laughs> but you want to know something about that time right then? Mm. That's when I painted her bag and all that. No shit. Yeah, Matt, right there. literally, oh, like man. that. I did all that in London. Oh, so boy. that was like that was like the moment. That's right there. That's like when it all went down. All right. Like when it really all changed. Stevie was there too. That's right. I think I ran into Stevie. Yeah, he was there. He was like, we was was all there there that night. And like, he saw me start doing it too. Like, he was like, man, it's crazy. Because honestly, I was in Vegas with Stevie probably a couple weeks prior to that. Maybe a couple months. You know, shit started seeming closer than it was. Mm -hmm. Maybe it was some months. But we was in Vegas and we was talking and he was like, yo, so... He's like, you could DJ, excuse me. He's like, you could DJ too. I was like, trying to put you on some new shit. Like, no, I mean, I was thinking about it. Oh, okay, I word. told him that. Like, yeah. he's like, yeah, you could DJ too. Like, I was like, but I got it. I was just really running through the whole cycle. Right. Like, mm-hmm. you just knew art was your thing, but you didn't know which. Yeah, but which I knew I had to do that. I couldn't yeah. conform. Right. Because I'm just not going that. Like, I'm, that's not my purpose. Yep. You know, it yeah. honestly isn't like so. I just I, I didn't have that. Like that's not the way my brain worked. Right. You know what I mean? So it's yeah. just like I knew even if it met real hard times, in which a lot of people that bury buries what that really means to people. You know what I mean? Yep. But like you don't know what a hard time. Is. Like it's better to not have it all than to have and lose and it. And lose it. Yep. You know? It's so bad, the, but when you come out the mud, too, it's like yeah. hard times. You but already come out like, the mud, I'm used to hard yep, times. Exactly. I'm almost comfortable with it at a certain age. Right. And then when success comes, and then you obtain money, you make a million bucks out mm-hmm. the hood, right? Yep. And then you lose it. That's harder to deal with than not, not having, having it at all. Yep. Like, for sure. Mm-hmm. Because now it's a perception of, like, what you're supposed to have because right. you this person that I know who you are and you yep. did all this stuff. And so that shit is a hard, the worst, the hardest thing in life to do is, is reinvent yourself. So, so like, I don't yeah, take, a, yeah, I don't yeah. take a lot of time to like pat myself on the back because right. it ain't really a lot of time you can't for that. Get comfortable. It ain't a lot of time for that. Yeah. But one thing I can say I did already is reinvent myself. Fuck yeah, you're right. You Most know? Definitely. And that's Amen. not yeah, an easy for thing right. for nobody yeah. to do. Right. Like, you know, I don't yeah. care what it, what you reinvent yourself into is not easy, mm-hmm. you know? And a lot of people on earth never going to even experience that. You that's know true, what I mean? Man. They just going to have a shot, yep. lose a shot, have a shot, win a shot, you yeah. know? Well, that's a testament to your hustle and your drive yeah. and like staying true to to your childlike self, yeah. you know, keeping that little bit of wonder. But that was the wonder. little bit of thing I, I'm talking about. Right. I'm glad you said that right then, because that's the exact thing mm-hmm. that made that even a possibility, yep. dog. You got to hold on a little bit, because when you get around them circles where everything is good, that bit of innocence is what's going to be, what resonate with them. Absolutely. Like, I fuck with you. Mm-hmm. Like, you don't take it too, so you know, that little bit of funny or that little yeah. energy you give them in that moment. Like yeah. 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 Never lose your dinosaur. Yeah, it's well, true. Yeah, you know? that's a funny statement. <laughs> but, but, but yeah, and for real, don't lose the dinosaur. That's don't what the pop was like. Yeah. Ah. It was like, I was like, ah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, go up there. I just feel like y'all should be on stage. Like, you know. Both the homes. But, but, but for Both real. Yeah. yeah, but for real. Nah, straight up. That's real I mean, shit. like, my, my motto for life is don't quit your daydream. Like, but that's, that's why on some comedy, real, like. Well, guess what? Some of my finest moments in life been daydreams. Came from daydreaming. Yeah, they've been up. daydreams, and then I made them reality. And then it became reality. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You I know, like, for yep. real, for real. I mean, yeah. like, literally willing it. Like, thinking it, daydreaming, definitely not sleep, and, like, mm-hmm. Damn, like I could feel it. Literally, I like it really was real. Yeah, like I could feel it that as if you had it right here, right now. Yeah, but I'm talking about I I ain't talking about the transition. I'm talking about even before Before I got a record deal. Yeah, Yeah. I used to see myself rocking on stage, stadiums. Yeah, in my room, dog. Seriously, being there just daydreaming like a motherfucker, like yo. Even performance sometimes to nobody, like you know what I mean. But like, mm-hmm. damn, like this shit it coming felt out, real yeah, in the, the energy, yep. everything felt real about it. Yeah. And then I got on that stage, 
and did Filthy. that, and I was like, that's what, that's what deja vu is for me. Yeah, and then I get on that stage, and then I feel that, yeah. and be like, "Damn, you feel this the energy is that it. you felt in this your is room, it. just in that moment." You're like, "This yeah. is yeah. it. This is yeah. what I was talking about." And and I I'm so caught up in the hustle of it that I almost forgot that this is really it. This is really it. This like is you what really I was, live in the dream that you had. This is it. This is the shit like, I was daydreaming yeah. about, but I'm so caught up that I'm lucky I got a, a moment to realize it, like just yep. a second. And you're like, damn, this is this is it. Sometimes that's all you can take because you don't want to no, get that, complacent. No, that's why I said like, that. Yeah, that's all it is. Yeah. I don't. I'm, I got my head down. Mm -hmm. Even Brian. right now, I paint every day. I painted today. I yeah. paint every day. Like my good clothes got paint on them. <laughs> shit. Like you know, like shit that See, like for right. real, like everything. So, so, sorry to cut you. You, were, you said my good clothes got paint on them. So we were talking a little bit before. I know you got you know you got your chuckers on right now. Or the Chucks. Chuckers. Not okay, Chuckers, whoa. but you got the whoa. Chucks on. Yeah, whoa. You got the Chucks on, but we were <laughs> talking a little bit. This is a show, isn't it? My yeah, God, not, not the Chuckers. <laughs> not the Chuckers, but we were talking a little bit about uh, about your personal collection. Mm -hmm. And you were telling me, you know, low key that there's some there's some heat up in there. You got some yeah, heat. Yeah, of course. Yeah, I just got Nah, but what pause. What you sitting on? Pause. But I'm not, I'm not like a, um, Sneakerhead, before we even get into this, Appreciate because y'all are so y'all be able to help me understand when I'm when I like Most the definitely. kind of shit I got more than I will, because I don't always know everything by name. Right. I just know I have it in my possession. He can. But you know what? That, me that's dope though, because that. you you are very honest and open about like, look, I'm not a sneakerhead. I don't know all the nicknames that I got, but I know I got and I got. I got I like stuff. It. Yeah. yeah. Like I got yeah. Vism stash, uh, mm -hmm. like hot shoes. Vism. Yeah, like yeah. Mm. like the ones with the <laughs> fucking tassels. Yep. Yeah, yeah. The, the like buckle Marcus over, style. yeah, the buckle over yeah. suede joints I got from London. I think they're so well made. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, all their stuff yeah, is well made, and they yeah. clothes and uh, Japanese clothing, as far as I'm concerned. That's all I really wear for the most part. Like you know, I mean, yeah, like yeah. all this it shit. Last. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like it's yeah. just well done, well made. I love it. They like make Vism, a really good whiskey too. have shirts like this too with the little thread hanging off the things. But just not even Vism, no. Just another uh, Japanese brand. You know what I mean? But it's just like for me with the sneaks, um, all the Com de Garcon Nikes, mm -hmm. all that kind of. That's why I want like the Virgil shit because I'm into more like the simplicity. Simplistic, right. mm -hmm. like dope the sneaker. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like not that super hype, gassed up shit. Yeah. Like that's cool too. I grab a pair of Marty McFly's and, and here and there. You okay. know what I mean? Yeah. I'm like I had an old. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. Yeah. No, 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 no. <laughs> but what I mean is, I had an old trick lady, a sugar mama. <laughs> <laughs> that, Continue. That, that might have uh, that might have been a, a, like locked in on eBay already mm -hmm. and, and bid it on stuff and got me a pair of them. But damn, no big deal. Oh, shit. No, that <laughs> shit. No, because that the room, the, the space, uh, all this shit. I'm just saying, like a lot of shit, like uh, Dr. Romanelli, mm -hmm. Levi Vans, mm -hmm. just crazy shit like that. Like I like art, so yeah. my shoes reflect that like the the uh, Mason uh, Margella joints mm -hmm. that everybody yeah, you know that Margiela. classic style with the one big yeah, buckle you know? yeah. yeah but I'm talking about like the 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 suede black ones that's like just suede and black <laughs> like you know what I mean <laughs> no for real that's just dope like you know what I mean sure. like yeah. no hype shit but they well done yep. and they look good and they yeah. still look and good right now yeah. and they look good right now yeah. I bought pieces you know yeah. And like the sneakers, all the undefeated AI joints and shit. You know, I just whatever I come across, mm -hmm. bait, but original it, ones that, that I like, got from Pharrell that he gave me okay. out yeah, his like personal stash. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bapes. Bapes. That I With got his from little him. face on the back? Huh? With that little yeah, icon of no, his face original on the ones back? I, I got, that. like the chocolate cream and till. Okay. Patent levers and shit like oh, that. Oh, yeah. You know what yeah, I mean? Like, like yeah. rare was, but I got them from him, make them more special. Absolutely. Yeah. You know, <laughs> like, bit. a little bit. <laughs> it's just a little bit. Out his higher personal quality, stash, you know. out his crib, like, you know what I mean? And same stuff like that. You bust yeah. your ass in on the. Yep. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You guys were the same size? Now I bust my ass again. Remember, first I was trying to act like I was going to X Games, and now <laughs> that he remembers yeah, that yeah, I yeah, bust my ass. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's what I was saying. Like, I always said that I got fucked up. Like, I, was, I led with that. 
Oh, I man. might John Snow in this. <laughs> <laughs> they want me to be that guy. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's the, no Birkin the humble king. Yeah, the no, humble yeah. king. Yeah, yeah. It's no Birkin bag, but it ain't no joke to just grab a pair of nine hundred dollars sneakers and paint all over them. I painted them before I ever wore them. You did wear them, though. I can see that. Yeah, but before I, I ever wore them, yeah. before I ever wore them, I painted them. I didn't even wear them. It's just black. So was it something that you just wanted to make them like the one on ones? Like this is yours. It just reminded just me of the Birkin bags, and they were sneaks. And it's just something in your mind that triggered, like I just got to paint on these. Got to do it because okay, they dope yeah. too, of course. Right. Like mm-hmm. and like when you're in that zone right now, like if you popping porn chicks. <laughs> and <laughs> where are we going with this? No, nah, 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 I'm just saying. And then yeah. and then out of nowhere, you see like the newest one, the dopest one. Okay. You know, I'm following at a, at a sports bar. Uh huh. Watch it. You okay. gonna go at it? Okay. No, because that's where they yeah. at. I'm, what do you I'm, mean? Why a sports I'm just bar? Try, I'm you better get in the know. Get in the know, man. Get in the know, man. They in the sports bars. Sports bars. Okay. Yeah. I gotta find find me a uh, they well I gotta pop me a porn chick. They well versed. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh my God. So let me ask you this, because I know that you are a co-owner of a brand now, and I don't know if this has ever influenced like your buying purchase your um, your purchases, but what do you think about like influencers, quote unquote, or you know, brand ambassadors driving, you know, sales for different brands, whether it be sneaker brands or something like Tango Something they're not affiliated with? No, yeah, that's what I mean. Like, so say you get some people that are, you know, on the gram or whatever, and y'all see them a box of product, and like, hey, can you post this for us? Yeah. Or whatever. Do you see some return on that? Like, what do you do? You think brand ambassadors are actually important to moving units? Well, I don't, I don't think about it in that way, as much as I think about it. Like, if I think you cool, I think you dope, and I think your energy dope, mm-hmm. that you should have them anyway. Okay, most definitely. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. The way we try to approach band ambassadors and things of that nature, like, because we could have went with other people than Dave East, mm-hmm. honestly. Yeah. But he's, t- personally, <laughs> like, he's the guy. Like, you right. know what I mean? He's dope. Like, and he's new and he's yeah, fresh. New, and he, he's and, like, pad, and like, you can just see it. Harlem always dose him out. Right. Mm-hmm. Always. Like, we used to run up Harlem early, like, with uh, Dame Grease. Mm-hmm. That's my man. And all them. <laughs> ask them. But so back when we talk about beans and all that, yeah. if that's your man, ask him about everything I just said. He'll tell you right off the rip. Yeah. Should yeah. I ask him about the skating part <laughs> too? Yeah. Nah. Beans ain't gonna know that. No, I'm talking about Dame Grease. But, yeah, nah, yeah, nah, yeah. Nah. He wasn't that for real crib. Nah, no, so man. you do think. <laughs> Shout out to Dame Grease, man. So Dame when it Grease, comes to brand ambassadors, you think it's more I think it should be aligned a, with like the energy of what y'all yeah, doing. Yeah, admin flow. I think it should be something more natural and, and, and like true to what you're talking about. Like yeah. a reach for us wouldn't be Travis Scott. Mm. Or the asking Abel, not saying he would do it, but asking him, right. this one and that there. one. Yeah. These are people that we touch and know. Yep. So, like, that's easier than trying to find a brand ambassador. You get what I'm saying? For These sure. are just people yeah. that's actually cool. It should be more yeah, natural. Yeah, it, it yeah. should be yeah. like that, where right. it's actually cool and it's like, wear this shit. Yeah. Fuck with it. It's Schoolboy you know Q, YG, all of them. It don't even matter. Like, Schoolboy Q, this is a funny story about him. YG, all everybody got it. I gave it to them. They are homies, so we don't mm-hmm. never ask them to wear it and pose. Right. We just send you them just send a box. Them. Yeah. Honestly. And they already. And fuck I hit with him. It. I hit Q, and I'm like, Q, like, did you get your box? And he just too funny for a moment. He for, so he's just saying something ridiculous <laughs> as a response, and I'm like, dog, nah, I'm for real. Like, <laughs> did you get it? And he like, yeah. And then I went to the studio the other day, and I'm like, dog, you ain't even tell me you hit. He's like, yo, but and he lift up his shit. He's like, I got him on right now. Mm-hmm. You understand what we I'm saying? That's how me and my homies rock. That's how yeah. we rock. Like, they rapping because they rapping, not because they got it. It's like, it's like uh, private donors mm-hmm. and donors with a, a platform. Plaque. With the platform. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, and that's fine. Cause you know, sure. I get it. Some, some, some people do want to know. Yeah, Harvey. Uh, some people yeah. do want to, and that, that's cool for them. But I'm saying it is two different sides to yeah, it. Yeah, most you know? definitely. So it's like people that donate and that will contribute to the movement, and they own. He might not have posted, but he might have them on. And he be and out, somebody he around like, somebody and they saw it. Yep. And that's all it mm-hmm. took. Like damn, what's that? Like, how can I fuck with that? And I didn't even to- see him post it. 
Yeah. Even more like it's real. Yeah, yeah. But that goes back to you, what you, you understand what I'm saying? Yeah, so you yeah. let everything fall how it falls. You didn't yeah, post yeah. them like laying on the bed. Yeah, you know, all that. Right. All that. That's yeah. cool though. Right. We need all that. But I'm saying, <laughs> but no, 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 it's true. But yeah. everybody moves different. Yep. So you allow it to fall how it falls. Mm -hmm. But you you trust in the people you actually bless. And okay. that's how we look at it. You and, know that's, what I mean? and that goes back to what you were saying earlier. You, you organic know, tango organic. movement. That was the that's what all we on. It has to our friendship is organic, our business partnership is organic, our partners outside of us directly, our investors are organic. Everything is organic, like except our food. <laughs> 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 For real. <laughs> For real. <laughs> I'm serious. I did not expect that. No, they're not going uh, down today, man. No, nah, but I'm serious. Go right to the comments. Man, man. No. can we refill this man's glass? We only no, got like no, 10 no, minutes no, left. No, man. no, we shouldn't. Yeah. Oh, we got five minutes left. Our oh, producers tell me we only got five minutes left. I think he said five minutes like 15 ago. <laughs> he said five minutes. Like, he did the one five. He like, did the one five. Like, oh, he said one five. Oh, yeah. I only saw one on his head. I saw one you hand. You have one like, five like, minutes left, guys. You have one of these five minutes left. one five minutes left. <laughs> <laughs> all right, my last time for the night. Do you fuck with Jordans at all? Yeah. You still do? Um, so it's been brought to our attention that Jordan, Jordan, Nike has a brand problem uh, with Jordan brand. And according to uh, Morgan Stanley, the analyst, he recently wrote that sales of Jordan sneakers are slowing down at a historic rate. Nike is facing a brand problem with Jordan brand. The issue has been attributed to changing trends and a rising in popularity with runners and more slim shoes. Well, are we talking about Jordan brand and Nike? We, well, Nike, or I Jordan know that brand part, is under, but are yeah. we talking about we talking Jordan, about Jordan brand. brand specifically? Jordan. Well, those are whack. Speak oh, on it. No, I'm just saying. Echoed no. through the whole office right now. Those are whack. It just got yeah. quiet. No, 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 yeah. but that's true. Like, I mean, when you For walk you, into, do, are we wearing? Jordan brand. I got some Jordan oh. That's, Jordan is that brand. Four weeks in a row, those I are retro. Those are retro. Just yeah. put them yeah. on a fucking. What's those them, are them retro. Things, them pigs yeah. be spending they on. They was manufactured <laughs> by who the and fifth? designed at the time by who? Those right, ones. right, right. So we're not talking about that. But, we're but we about, technically, we, we talk, are. We're talking well, about I'm not home. talking about that as a whole. I'm talking about when I walk into a Nike store. Okay. Yeah. I go back to the Jordan brand section. Mm -hmm. And what's available And everything now? that that I see is pie. Okay. Because it's like. Uh, Super retro flip version right. tr fusion, like and the shit just corny. Like at the end of the day, and I don't know who he got designing that shit up, mm -hmm. but like the brand at, as a whole, the Jordan brand yeah. is amazing. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. But we talking about them Jordan sneakers? Yes. That they produce. It ain't hit no more, huh? No, I mean these are like. Well, I mean, like, yeah. If you go back to the classics, but we're not talking. We talking about the classics was like a collaboration with Nike. But even Jordan still, brand though, is Jordan like they brand. bring back the '88s, like they had the True Blue Threes that came with the Nike on I the heel saw that, tag, yeah. and them motherfuckers went to outlets too. Yeah, because what I'm trying to say is they know it's a remake. Mm -hmm. Authenticity is with the even this younger generation is fixated on for some reason. Right. Oh, this is retro. This is real old. This is OG. OG, OG, everything right. OG. Right. So like that's why something like that might happen. But they still like them. But what I'm saying is them. F I don't even know what to call that shit. It's like it might be some foam some ones. Like I don't know, <laughs> just dumb shit. Like you're like, what yeah. the fuck is they, this? They like, reaching now. Yeah, like, they, they trying they, to it's find like, something. It's like what is that? And like whoever y'all entrust and they way out the loop. Mm -hmm. That's why a person like Virgil. Right. Comes like a motherfucking bringing some way, yeah, but he left, comes some way, but, but he helping still exactly because that's still the 32? Jordan brand. The thirty two, Jack, yeah. Jack, can we pull up a thirty two? It's still the Jordan brand. We on our brand. two minute warning though. We got so our we two gotta, minute warning. So this is the Jackson trying to pull up the most recent. The thirty two is it's about not, to come out. They not hit at all. Thirty twos? Yeah, they don't, they still doing the right numbers. There? Yeah. So what they was trying to do with this? We talked about this last week on our episode where. They're trying to basically take the Jordan 2 and kind of bring that into the new wave with the new fly net and all these materials and shit. What I say? No, no, no. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, no, I thought I fucked up. What I say? No, <laughs> um, but yeah, they doing shit like this still, and then obviously they bring it back. Like, you got to wear that you know. with a kimono. <laughs> 
Well, there you have it. But that's good I, style advice. I don't think we need anything else. <laughs> anything else. I think that's good style advice as well. That's the only thing you yeah. can get them off with. All right, so I'm going to go get a kimono. And maybe quick. not even. <laughs> and still maybe not, but only because they read, I thought that. Um, <laughs> I, you know, like, it is what it is. I really don't know. I'm going to be honest, dog. I'm not going to say and lie. I love Michael Jordan. I love mm-hmm. Nike. I love Jordan Brand. Well, no, I don't. <laughs> but but I love like uh, yeah I do love Jordan Brand as a brand. But yeah, but not what they've been like doing the lately. I don't like the I don't like the designs. Okay. They should bring some real ones in. Virgil, they should bring him in. Well, they got the they, one. They did. Yeah, yeah but that's my point. That's why you I said he's helping. He's helping. That's why he's helping. They should allow him to do all of them. They just take Simplify over. your whole idea of like uh-huh. what the sneaker is about. Cause y'all getting too crazy. Like, why I need I those? When I'm gonna wear that shit with? Well, we talked about the <laughs> kimono, yeah. a red velvet cape. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta have a red velvet cape on. Man, this has been dope. We gotta get out of here. Tell the people where they can find you on the internet. Uh, what? <laughs> what I said? Back, back page. Oh shit! No, that's how you. You slang it. That's how That's how you said it. That's how. <laughs> Tell the people where they can find you on the internet. <laughs> no. what it, what, where, on the internet. I'm only here Tell on people Instagram. where they can find you on social media. Nice. Okay. Uh, <laughs> the Art of Albacere on Instagram, and that's it. You don't have to spell that. It's right there. A- yeah. 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 But what if they listening? Okay. okay. What if they listen? Point. You right. A L. They still gonna get it wrong. A L B A S two E's and an R. The that's, art that's the number of two. <laughs> <laughs> See? See, they're gonna fuck it up. You already fucked Y'all them fucked up. it up for the listeners, like not for the viewers. You fucked it up for the listeners. Cause I ain't repeating it, so that is like And where can they find uh Tango Hotel the brand? Uh Tango Ho- uh the Tango Hotel brand.com the tango hotel brand.com yeah, yeah, yeah. and okay. also Macy's.com. Oh, beautiful. Y'all already yeah. in Macy's there right now, huh? That's yeah. lovely, man. Man, well, we appreciate you being here. Yo, thank here. y'all for real. Oh, like, that shit was fun as fuck. This storytelling was incredible, oh, yeah. man. That like, shit was fun as fuck. I love uh, all the truths. I'm paying the asses. Truths, the tr- <laughs> asses. I'm paying asses. <laughs> it was like two truths and a lie with this man. I love what it. What lie? <laughs> the skateboarding? I, mm, we'll, we'll get there. Yo, we'll, why y'all keep we'll, trying to blow that up? Like, I didn't lie about that. We'll bring that. it back next time. Bring We're it back. We'll bring it. We're going to rewind the tape in the episode and make sure. And don't. Cue it up, neither. Make it right. <laughs> I think that's going to be Don't the promo. It yeah, no. It's going to be like, Don't try right, to like yeah. I know how to skate. Don't and try to like, fuck like, me over. Like, yo, I never said I know how to skate. Cue it up to make him ridiculous. I, I, I never rub yeah. my feet in Eddie's couch. Man. I come on since that. Fuck yeah, your couch. I remember rubbing yeah. my feet in Eddie's couch. Because he can buy another one. He said because he can buy another one. For John Colombo, for Dano, I am Jesus Christ. Thank you for tuning in. We will hear we, we will hear. We will y'all, hear will, again. y'all will hear us, and we will see y'all again next week. Don't forget your weed pen. And you know what it is. Oh, God. You gonna you gonna end it with me? A piece. A piece. <laughs> yeah. Yo, that was fun, oh, y'all. Damn, that was dope. Yeah, really <laughs>